once you've got all the trusses in and the framing done you have to remember that Pamir calls trusses frames and it's a bit of getting used to that naming but it all works well because the engineering part now is called frame as well how do you activate that? it's fairly easy it's integrated into Pamir so you're gonna click say we're gonna use this truss here so I'm gonna double click on that and it opens up frame and you inside the engineering part of Pamir. Again, properties is on the right hand side, which makes it fairly easy to go and change the trusses to what you want. And most stuff works on shortcuts as well. So, for instance, if you hold shift and you press the right cursor key, you can increase your web patterns. If you press the left cursor key, you decrease your web patterns that you want to use which makes it quite nice if you now want to design this you're going to press F10 and it designs the truss for you and there you have it if you want to drill into specific components you can double click again on a top cord or a web or a bottom cord and on the properties of that member now you can go and change your size your grade you can even click on a drop down and go and choose a specific timber size makes it fairly easy once you get used to it the next thing that you want to do is, is that you got versa truss equivalent more or less and how it works is on the top left you can add primary members there you can add secondary members there and then you can add splice blocks and you can scab you can add supports so all those things are there if you look at the menu at the top here the one thing that I quickly want to show you how it actually works you can go secondary and then you can basically let's zoom in on that area I'm going to click there you can see there is a new member that I can form and it nicely splits base into half so if you want to use the half ends of that and then you click again the cuts happen automatically it gives you a gray outline of more or less what plate size is going to be used there so all in all it works out quite nice and it's very nice to get out of engineering what you do is, is you just press alt 1 which takes you back to your layout alt 2 takes you to your framing view Alt 3 takes you to your 3D view. The red and blue lines that you see there are trusses has not been built yet. There you can see the ones that are built with their web patterns in that and everything. And then Alt 4 takes you to your output window and it will create the output of whichever window you were in last so if the last window that we were in say for instance were layout if I press Alt 4 it creates a layout of the trusses and the roof layout okay so let's go back to the layout Alt 1 get back to layout here to recap what you need to do once you've done your framing first of all in Pamir you have to remember to bolt which is F9 you press that you can see once it's built you can see that the software now creates connections between your jacks and your other trusses with those arrows once all your frames are built they, they change to yellow and then from there once you've got that you can press F10 and that will design all the trusses in the background and then if you want to drill into your trusses individually or want to have a look at what they look like again as I said you're gonna basically double click on that truss which will open up the framing view or the engineering part so that you can drill into this and get all the designs that's it that should get you going in Pamir part 1 and part 2 and from this point forward just play around from here you really need to play around with it uh, in your own time to get used to it once you get used to it it is very powerful and it leaves 2020 in the dust
thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy Pomia and its capabilities.